Hello students and welcome to this class of Langlet Academy. Many students have been asking me to cover the topics from class 12 CBSC English. So I decided to start with a very touching poem My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. I have tried to cover line by line explanation, summary, important question answers asked in board and also the important literary devices used in the poem. Your suggestions are welcome in comment box so that I can work more to help you understand the poems and the topics covered in the curriculum. So, let's begin with this very touching poem, My Mother at 66. The poem My Mother at 66 is one of the finest examples of human relationship the relationship between the mother and a daughter it shows the affection and a fear which the daughter experiences when she sees her mother growing old she is afraid that she will soon lose her mother because her mother was heading towards death due to old age she finds that dullness on her face and realizes that very soon because of old age she will lose her mother now let us learn something about the poet kamla das was known as the mother of modern english poetry she was born on 31st march 1934 and started writing poetry at a very young age her mother's name was nalapat balmani amma and she was also a well known poetess she is also known as kamla suraya because she took this name after converting to islam she converted to islam because she married a muslim she was also known as madhava kutti which is the pseudonym she gave to herself when she was writing in malayalam she was also known as ami which a pet name she reserved for herself while writing her memoirs now let us try to understand the poem driving from my parents home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me doze open mouth her face ashen like that of a corpse Yet the poet tells us that it was Friday morning when she was returning from her parents' house and she was going to Kochi. She was accompanied by her mother in a car. She saw that her mother was dozing. Dozing means sleeping lightly. That means the person is not completely sleeping but in half sleep. Her mouth was open. you might have seen the people while driving in a car or a train they doze and their mouth is open she realized that the face of her mother had become dull dark and lifeless for this the poet has given us the word ashen ashen means becoming dark and dull and her face resembled was looking like that of a corpse corpse means a dead body here the literary device used is simile simile is a comparison between two different things the dull dark lifeless pale face of mother is compared to the face of a dead body now when the poet realizes that her mother has grown old she is very much disturbed by this thought the thought of the old age of her mother brings pain to her mind and to avoid that pain to put that thought away she looks out and what she sees there the young trees sprinting and the merry children spilling out of their homes sprinting means running in opposite direction in this picture you can see the image and you can remember that when you travel by some vehicle 
car, train or bus. You see the trees moving in the opposite direction. You see something of this kind. So, this is the meaning of sprinting. She saw some children rushing out of their homes. This is the meaning of the word spilling. So, what the poet sees? The young trees sprinting and merry children spilling out of their home. Merry means the children which are very much happy and enthusiastic. Here, the literary device used is personified. Personification is used to give lifelike qualities to the non-living or inanimate objects. Here trees are shown as young. So this is personification. Also young trees sprinting and merry children spilling here represent the idea, the contrast to the mother who is sitting beside her. Mother is old but the trees are young. Mother is dull and tired and weak but children are merry and enthusiastic. So when the poet tries to look out of the window of the car to avoid the painful thought of her aging mother, there also she realizes that the world outside is in the condition that is contrast to the condition of her mother and this again brings back the pain and fear in her mind that she is going to lose her mother because of the old age and death. But after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, one pale as a late winter's moon. Here the poet tells her that she was able to somewhat divert her thoughts after looking outside the window at the young trees and merry children. But as soon as they reached the airport, she again looked back at her mother and she realized her pale, lifeless and wan face. Wan here means dull and lifeless. The poet compares the face of her mother to the late winter's moon. So the literary device used here is simile. As the late winter moon looks dull, cannot be clearly seen, so did appear the face of poet's mother to her. And she felt that old familiar ache. Ache here means pain. She realized a pain which she had always known. Familiar means well known or known earlier. This fear she had right from her childhood. The fear was of losing her mother. That she, was, she would lose her mother. Young children Almost all the children, they are afraid that they may part from their mother, they may lose their mother. So did the poet. And when she looked at her and realized that she may lose her mother due to old age, she felt that this fear was not new. It was a familiar one, the one which she had in her childhood. But she was optimistic she controlled her emotions. She did not want her mother to uh, feel her actual feelings of unhappiness. So she said farewell. She said goodbye to her mother. Amma here is mother. She smiled and smiled and smiled and said goodbye to her mother with the hope that they would very soon meet again. Here the figure of speech used is repetition because the words smile and smile and smile is used is repeated again. Now let us discuss some important questions that are asked in the board exams. What do the sprinting trees signify? The sprinting trees signify time that has passed at a fast pace. It tells about the time that is passing very fast or that has already passed very soon. 
what are the merry children symbolic of symbolic of the merry children symbolizes means represent the youth the young age what does the poet make use of images of young trees sprinting and merry children spilling the poet makes use of these images to emphasize to tell us about the contrast between the old age and the youth it also tells us about the cheerfulness and the liveliness of the young age why was mother's face looking like a corpse why did poet's mother face looked like a corpse the poet's mother face was looking like a corpse because she had grown old because of her old age what was the poet's childhood fear the poet's childhood fear was that she would lose her mother she was very much insecure and she was afraid like all other children that she would lose her mother what were the poet's parting words when she was parting from her mother she was going away from her mother what were her words she said see you soon amma means we will very soon meet again she gave the hope to her mother and her herself that they will meet again why did the poet smile and smile do be a poet was fearful from inside but she still she continued smiling because she was trying to hide her real feelings she was afraid that her fear if realized by her mother would make her sad too so she smiled hopefully though she had tears in her eyes she hid her tears and said that we would meet again so i hope students that this poem is very clear to you you are very much clear about the questions which are to be asked in your exams in the next topic we would discuss about the poem a thing of beauty is joy forever by john keats so keep watching do subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification for the information about the upcoming videos